a lot of people on the acoustics course are like most people are some way sort of musically inclined um, so I think um, doing sort of an engineering subject but also um, you know having that passion for like music is uh, it's, it's something that switches people on to acoustics. The, what, what actually sold Southampton to me was um, I came here uh, on a visit with my physics A-level um, and went to see the facilities at, um, at ISVR um, and they had all kinds of interesting demos there so they had um, uh, like audio um, systems that are in the research stage at the moment that can sort of uh, you know simulate a mosquito buzzing around your head and um, there was a one that was uh, like a simulation of having your hair cut and um, the, it was so lifelike that you could basically feel the scissors like moving around your head. Well, um, I, I think on the academic side of things, um, the group design project that I did in my fourth year, uh, we built a large array of loudspeakers and then uh, we programmed some software to um, basically do like a 3D audio rendering technique. Um, and then we tested that with uh, human subjects. So we got all of our course mates in and uh, played them sort of sounds coming from all different directions and helicopters flying around their heads and stuff like that. I worked for Dyson in uh, the um, motors department as a noise and vibration engineer. So my job is to try and make sure that the high-speed motors that we make that go into our high-end vacuum cleans are um, quiet at source. So this is not about um, adding silences to stuff, it's making the, the core source of the noise quiet. My degree in acoustical engineering has sort of naturally led on to what I'm doing now.